Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new video. The other day, I released a diagonal TNT missile, and there was quite a bit of people in the comments uh, of the video asking if it's possible to also make a vertical design, vertical missile. And I, I kind of was blindly under the assumption that there was already a lot of vertical missiles on YouTube, but it turns out there's actually not that many. So what I have here is, you kind of like see it below me, uh, but it is essentially a sort of vertical tomahawk. Uh, it's a two by two missile. It's, it has the same speed as the tomahawk. It's, I mean, it's completely different, but it, it it's like a, a vertical two by two surface area missile. Um, and I'm standing on a very cool four by four trapdoor that was provided to me by Zomba Chu, uh, who is another red stoner, and he has a link, uh, or how I have a link in the description. Uh, for the tutorial for this thing, but the, yeah, this is essentially a missile silo. So it has like a missile holding bay, the missile's being held by pistons and stuff, and when I press this button, if all goes well, hopefully, uh, the pistons will retract, one by one, and that redstone block will be inserted, and this thing will start flying upward. Now, as you can see, it's not that fast. Um, it has one, like, trigger TNT, that's the TNT I'm looking up right now. Um... And it does like a lot of collateral damage. There's only three TNT that's kind of like facing upward. So this is probably not the like it's a pretty it does pretty decent damage because of the placement of the TNT. Uh, but I like I guess essentially you could add a little bit more TNT. Um, but yeah, I have a test target up here. So this thing will hit the wall. TNT will trigger, and hopefully we'll end up doing uh, you know a bit of damage. There we go. So like. It's hard launching the TNT upward, um, but this is doing damage. And you know, if you end up sending multiple of these missiles upward, you'll you'll probably end up doing quite a bit of damage. Um, let me quickly close the 4x4 trapdoor, and then when we're done with that, I'll move on to the tutorial. But as you can see, this thing is really really cool. So like the pistons will go back in place. And then, like that piston below or a track that was for the launch mechanism. Um, I will show you how to build the uh, the missile, and I also show you how you can make you can make like a a toggle that activates the missile. There's there's a whole bunch of ways you can go about doing that. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the uh, tutorial. So this is the missile we'll be building. I'll just fly around for. Good looks, but uh, in my hotbar right now, you'll see all the materials you'll need in order to build this. Uh, I like to emphasize, and uh, is something I've been doing uh, a lot recently, but uh, this thing also works on Xbox One and PlayStation and Xbox 360, etc. Um, there's no like any any weird techniques being used in this design. Um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we'll start out with a uh, vertical caterpillar i'm going to place a furnace there and a slime lock and then a sticky piston facing down and this is like a little sort of part of a little uh, caterpillar engine um, this is what you get and above that we'll get a normal piston uh, air gap in between with a redstone block then a glass block and then another uh, normal piston and this is essentially already a flying machine. Like I could launch this up without the TNT. And this is something like if you want to mess around with this and like try and come up with your own designs, uh, what we have right now is actually a really good starting position for you to mess around with your own missiles. Because uh, you can just, you know, attach stuff to this. Uh, actually, essentially, like without the top part, this would just be a, you know, a vertical upward flying machine. Uh, but we need a TNT trigger. So what we'll do is we'll add two glass block here, uh, just to make sure that it's not TNT is not getting triggered by that redstone block. Then we'll add uh, four TNT on top of that. And this is the TNT that will get triggered by a um, redstone block at the top as soon as this hits a wall. Um, then here to the side, we can add some TNT mixed with glass, just to make sure that there's no mishap. Be careful not to misclick, obviously. Uh, and then up here, uh, what we'll get is we'll go around the corner. Um, actually, this redstone block has to be there. 
uh, the way we're doing it right now. And then this redstone block below, uh, this, this will be the one that will trigger the TNT down there. And then up here, we'll just get a glass block and three TNT to make it look uh, nice. If you don't really care about this, you know, looking nice, what you can do is you can technically add three, three more TNT and it would still work. So it just makes it a little bit, a little bit bigger payload, but uh, I guess it would look cooler. I guess you could also do something like this. Um, just add a little bit more TNT, but then the TNT below would be pretty far away. So it is, it's a bit complicated. Like these upward TNT explosions, I, I think uh, they still require a bit more testing. At the moment, I think this is fine. That's just the standard design. Now, as for activating this and launching it upwards, uh, what you can do is you can uh, go down here, obviously remove the furnace. If you want to launch it by hand, you can use a flint and steel on this piston and this thing will start flying upwards. Uh, alternatively, what you could do is if there is no redstone block where I'm looking right now, um, you could set it up so that there is uh, there's a piston here. Uh, let's hook up a lever, like so. Uh, then we'll place the furnace back. And after we've put the redstone block back, and if we remove the furnace, uh, you can actually like launch it with a redstone signal. And that's essentially what I did down there, sort of. Um, so retracting this piston will be similar to uh you know a block update so this will also make it launch upwards uh and the last method you can use and this, this is actually the one that i used in the uh in the missile silo is get get a redstone block and you know where this redstone block is next to the sticky piston we just this can be removed uh, if we want to launch it, we just put the redstone block in place and this will also go. Uh, so here's, yeah, it's a vertical upward missile for your missile silo. If you're interested in the 4x4 tutorial, uh, there will be a link in the description to Zomba Choose tutorial. And, you know, this thing will detonate an impact and hopefully create quite a bang. So guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to... Uh, Leave a like on the video, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Whee! Um, this thing is like being held by pistons and stuff, and the idea is that if I press the button, uh, this thing will open up, and pistons will start disappearing, and then at some point, really? The whole thing will blow up. Not quite what was planned.